Welcome back friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video we are going to talk about blood clotting factors, trick and mnemonics. So, there are 12 blood clotting factors and uh, they have separate names. How you remember names of all those separate blood clotting factors? So to remember that within 5 minutes this video is just for you. So what we need to know is Christmas which is a very happy time but what happens you know before Christmas few people want to go to the slopes and finally not all of them can make it to the top few of them also die. It turned in bad thing but actually you can remember this as a story. So the only thing that you need to remember regarding the blood clotting factor is this. Foolish people try climbing long slopes after Christmas. Some people have fallen. This is what you need to know. Foolish people try climbing long slopes after Christmas. Some people have fallen. That's how you need to remember the clotting factors. You know there are 13 separate clotting factors that are out there and I'm going to tell you all of them with this table that is listed in here. So start with foolish or F, the first letter of every single uh, word uh, that I've listed here. So F, foolish or F, fibrinogen. The second factor P, prothrombin. The third factor T, tissue thromboplastin. Fourth factor C, calcium ions. Fifth L, labile factor. Sixth S, stable factor. Seventh, A, antihemophilic factor. So I think that is uh, eighth antihemophilic. Then Christmas and Christmas factor, the factor nine. Factor ten, S, Stuart power factor. Stuart power factor. Then P, with eleven, plasma, thromboplastin, antecedent or PTA. Then twelve, with H, Hedgeman factor and 10th uh, and the 13th, F, fibrin stabilizing factor. So that's what you can get to know the name of all these factors. And the best way to check whether you are correct about all the 13 is this one in the middle that is Christmas. Christmas factor is the factor number 9. So that's what you can calculate. Uh, the above 8 and the bottom 4 should be correct based on this idea because this factor's name is exactly the same with the sentence of mnemonics as well as the actual factor name okay so that's how you can remember by knowing foolish people try climbing long slopes after Christmas some people have fallen that will give you an idea regarding remembering all the 13 blood clot clotting factors quite easily okay and you know they also act in a sequential fashion for the blood clotting job so if you remember the name of all these factors you can easily draw the blood clotting scenario and the mechanisms uh, while they will ask any question in the exam. So that's all. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.